Hello, Gail. Hi, this is Deb from Sailing Vessel Dream Chaser. In today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about some of our upcoming projects. The first of which is to fix a leak that has gotten significantly worse. <laughs> yeah, the coach house where the wooden rot is that we've talked about before. Um, the window fell out one day when I was measuring from curtains and we put in some Lexan just until to get us through the winter months and stuff. But uh, last night we had a pretty good rainstorm and the whole thing is just about to fall out again. So that project probably is going to get moved up a lot sooner on the to-do list. Um, but in the meantime, we do have a couple weeks that uh, there's prediction of rain. So we've got to do a temporary fix to get us through the rain till we can get it fixed permanently. And so. by moved up the list, what we mean is tonight's project is going to be <laughs> rebedding the window. Seen a window. <laughs> uh, so as Deb said, we, we just put Lexan in it mainly because we knew for a fact we were not ready to replace the coach house wall and didn't want to bother with uh, putting in a new permanent um, piece of glass until we were ready to go. So I'll show you what that looks like because uh, I was able to stick my finger right between the coach house wall and the window. Um, so it's not good. Not good at all. No. So the other project we're going to do is, as you know, we've talked in the last couple of videos about an upcoming project where we're replacing all of the house bank batteries and um, doing a little bit of research on some of the methods that we want to employ as we do that. So I'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons there and we might start having uh, the beginning stages of a design for that solution. So yeah. we'll, we'll show you what we have uh, as a starting point and in the next couple of videos we should start collecting all the parts and then I'll try and do like a three-part series um, where we actually put together the actual bank, build all the custom cables and whatnot. And that'll be coming up soon. So I'm going to take you over there in a minute. I'm going to show you what the exterior side of the coach house roof looks like and why the, um, the glass has actually started coming out, or the Lexan in this particular case. And as long as I can show you without actually destroying the wall, I'm going to show you the reason why we need to replace the coach house so bad. Taking bets on whether or not he knocks the window out. Oh, I'm going to knock the window out. That's on purpose. But <laughs> what I'm hoping I don't do is actually knock the teak trim off. That exposes the rotted wood underneath it. And I reach my finger in there, it's rotted wood. I stick my finger right through the ply. Nice. I'm just using a utility knife to cut through the window caulking. Again, I just used a cheap home store type caulking because I knew this was going to be temporary until we replaced this coach house wall. And now it's just a matter of going ahead and cleaning up the edges. So I went ahead and sped this up a little bit, but I'm using a utility knife and I use an old wood chisel that you'll see me use in the next scene as well. For the projects like this where I don't really don't care too much about the chisel, but it's got a nice sharp edge and it, it's able to clean some of this up. Pick up all the trash and certainly clean up my work. The next step here was the bottom exterior teak piece. You can see how it's loose. Um, I went ahead and just screwed that in with screws long enough to go through the space that was rotted and attached to the solid wood inside. Okay, so now that I have the, uh, the glass out, I'm going to just gently scrape off the, uh, the sealant here. I'm using a, an old wood chisel that I've sharpened up to use for crap projects like this. I decided the way I would go ahead and seal this is to um, use butyl tape on the inside of this window. Uh, I didn't show a close-up of the frame, but essentially the exterior opening is about a uh, half inch to three quarters of an inch larger in diameter than the inside opening. So this glass just sits right up against that. So again, using butyl tape on the inside of this, and then instead of just allowing that only to seal it, um, 
what I'm going to do is essentially build a frame that's going to go over the outside and hold it in place. And I'll put butyl tape on both sides. Uh, again, this is this is really a temporary solution. It's got to last us another 30 or 40 days, and then I'm going to spend a good week and rip that coach house wall out. It'll be a major job, but that's when we'll do it. So I just brought the window into the storage unit and uh, I, I just sort of traced a, a frame here. Um, this is really temporary. I'll end up doing this on the, you know, when we put the new coach house in, but I'll do it with solid teak or something. I'm just doing this with cheap um, 3 8 quarter inch plywood or so here, uh, just so I can hold that other Lexan window in. Um, so this lower side is the lower portion of the window. This actually flips over and is the top portion of the window right here. And then um, I do expect that, you know, between between where it comes around the bottom of this and where it comes right here on the top of this, I will have to cut a frame piece to go in there. But I'll do that after I get these other two done so I can piece it together. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fast forward this here for a minute while I cut this out. And then the next step is you'll see uh, I'll use a belt sander and just sand this smooth and then use that belt sander to round the edges so they don't have any harsh cuts from the uh, jigsaw. Like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, share it. If you already haven't, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Thank you. Thanks, Chastity, for the PR. Uh, <laughs> now I'm just going ahead and sanding the rest of these parts to get them a little bit smooth. I've got butyl tape on the inside and I'm putting some on the outside. Just as temporary here. Entire wall out down the side of the boat. No! So from there to there? Yeah, and then we'll remake something like this, but we'll do it out of really nice teak wood when we do the final one. Okay, so am I gonna be the helper of this project? Would you like to be? So we want to thank all our new subscribers that subscribe to us, and again, we hope you find the content on our channel useful, helpful, or just plain entertaining. So tell your friends, share with your family. So if you like these videos, please do us a favor. Right down in the bottom. I get this wrong all the time. So somewhere along in here, <laughs> there's, a, there's a subscribe and a like. I think I got it. There's a like button right down there in the bottom corner of the screen over there. Just underneath the screen, there's a thumbs up. Go ahead and click on that. It helps us go up a little higher in the, uh, in the search engine results. And if you want to be notified on new content, um, click on the red subscribe button. Um, let's see, we'll, I'll put it right, right here. Put on the red subscribe button and then uh, that way you'll be notified anytime we upload a new video. We try to do them about once a week. I was getting really, really good about making sure it was Friday morning and life has sort of been happening and I didn't get the editing done in time. So last week was Sunday, this week may be Saturday. Thanks. Sorry, folks. Yeah, the, the kids have kind of changed a lot of our dynamics on the boat. Um, they have their own schedule and sometimes it's just not good to get them off their schedule. So My YouTube uh, editing is not part of their plan. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so from the crew aboard Sailing Vessel Dream Chaser, we certainly wish you fair winds. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Or, to quote a friend of mine, like a monkey in a football. Oh, you can't say that word. Oh. This is supposed to be PG family friendly. I guess I'll have to beep that out. Yeah, beep that out. <laughs> so. Monkey f <laughs> before bed. Yes. It's much like don't say f in front of the KIDSs. I was going to say bumble f, <laughs> but I didn't even say that. <laughs> oh. Thank you.
That's very good. That's good. La la la. La 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 la. Dance. Don't forget to dance. The boat next to us is rubbing just ever so gently along the pylon and it's making this wonderful sound. Singing. <laughs>